In section 12.2, the presentation homework asks for you to look for a relationship between carbon dioxide in column B and the temperature in column C. Uh, one of the questions that students often ask is, well, how do I get a graph of just columns B and C? Well, you just select B and C, whether you're on a laptop, as I am here, or on a mobile device. You just select the data you want. And then on a laptop, you can simply go to Insert Chart. You may get the right chart, as I did here. You might not. Sometimes you'll get the wrong chart. A line chart is not the right chart. I want an XY scatter graph chart. In this case, uh, the Google Sheets has given me the chart that I want. But if you don't get the chart that you want, you can certainly uh, adjust to it to get the chart you do want. Whether you're on mobile, where you use a plus sign to add a chart at the top of the screen, or you're on a laptop. Now, on mobile, that's all you can do, a chart with labels. You can't add a trend line. You can't add an equation. Here on, on the laptop, I can. But I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to... Look at the slope, the intercept. When we talk about a relationship between two variables, what we're talking about is chapter 4. How does one variable affect another variable? This is the number of cups that the rice cooker can cook, and this is the power it consumes. We want to know something about that relationship, then one of the key statistics is going to be what is the slope of that relationship. And again, we do the y values and the x values. I don't need an autofill. I'll tell it, no, I don't need that. But you'll see here, that 31 means that for every additional watt of power, or sorry, for every additional cup, you're going to use 31 watts more power. For each additional cup, there's a gain of 31 watts. The intercept, not probably as useful a statistic in this particular case, a kind of strange thing. It tells you how many watts a rice cooker would consume if it produced no cups of rice. A very strange idea, but it's essentially a base level of about 116 watts. A rice cooker chews up 116 watts, basically with no rice being produced. And then above 116 watts, it's 31 additional watts for each additional cup. So one cup would be another 31 up from the 116 if you had such a thing. The other core question that is going to come up whenever you're working with is there a relationship is how strong is a relationship? The nature we can already see it is a positive relationship. The bigger the rice cooker the more power it uses. But how strong is that relationship? And so the correlation gives us the strength of the relationship. If the correlation is less than point 0.1, there's really no relationship there. That's just random. And the correlation between the negative point 0.3 and point 0.3 is weak at best and may not be a relationship. But here I have a correlation of point 0.9959. That's very strong. These are some of the statistics I can then report in my presentation. So I started to set up my presentation on rice cookers here in Google Slides. On the laptop, I can actually add a graph right from Insert, Chart, Sheets, Rice Cooker, Select. There's my chart. And I can simply say Import. And it will import the chart right from my spreadsheet. I can then adjust it and put it where I want to. It's always good to give people a picture to look at. That tells them that, indeed, there is a very nice linear relationship here between the, the two. It's a, high, a fairly high linear relationship, about 0.9959. Now I do want to tell my audience things about the rela strength of the relationship, nature of the relationship. Uh, you'll see here I've put this not in more terms of statistics, but in terms of what those statistics mean. That's one of... The jobs of a statistician is to explain to an audience what that data they've got means. So the 31 watts, which is a slope, is the additional consumed power per cup. And you'll want to wrap up with a conclusion and discussion 
and, and so if you do regularly make these small and large batches of rice then possibly two different sizes of rice cooker can actually save your household money in the long run power costs uh, 40 cents a kilowatt hour here on Pompeii uh, probably a, differs slightly by island but power is an expensive uh, a household expense and is expensive here and so you do want you can save the money on the cost of the rice cooker by using the right size rice cooker if you make both small and large batches of rice regularly well that's the idea it's a real simple presentation there's really only a few statistics that we've studied to tell us about relationships those few statistics being slope intercept correlation coefficient of determination but we haven't really gone beyond that on relationships and so that that will get you done and again we're only interested in columns b and c because column a is labels and we don't need labels and if you include the labels especially on the mobile app you'll probably get the wrong graph out of it